Here are two mothers and their babies. They have a lot in common, but they have had very different experiences of maternity. Sweden has one of the most generous parental models in the world. Swedes get more than double the amount of what a parent receives in the UK. In the UK, your paid maternity leave is 39 weeks. I think that the English model really does hurt equality. I think that it's a hugely inequitable model. In Sweden, parents are given 68 weeks of leave per child, paid at a rate of 80% of your salary, all with a cap to limit of £588 a week. I think the Swedish model is good because it's quite equal. It doesn't matter if you're the father or the mother. The cost of nurseries also greatly differs from the UK to Sweden. The UK has one of Europe's most expensive childcare systems. Compared to Sweden, the cost for parents is almost 10 times as high. Since 2008, the cost of nurseries in the UK has gone up by 49% for parents. I suspect that our costs are going to be around £2,000 a month, and that's probably at the very least. I think there's something drastically wrong with a system where a professional woman like me is struggling to meet the costs of everyday childcare. Thanks to estate subsidy, the bill for childcare in Sweden is greatly reduced. Low-income families pay nothing, while more prosperous families pay a max of £119 a month. I'm astonished that that's how little it costs, and to me that sounds like the government of Sweden have a lot of respect for families and a lot of respect for working people. But before you move to Sweden and get pregnant, it's important to remember that everything comes at a cost, and the Swedes pay more in tax. But what do you think? Would you be willing to pay more tax for better parental leave? <laughs>